All right, I'm here with my man Tate. I'm gonna say the same gag again. He, he won the <laughs> Apprentice of the Year award, which is bullshit, actually. But. So he's fabbing up the uh, the giant ghetto wheel of death. You might, you might be asking yourself, what is the giant ghetto wheel of death? So I'm into this tiny home thing, as you know. Got the little one going. But uh, we've sold a few tiny home trailers. And we've got a 20 footer here. It's probably, uh, once it's built with the axles and stuff, it's probably uh, 2,000, 2,500 pounds. Um, actually, it's probably under a ton, but who knows? It's a lot. And it's in this space where we can't really manipulate it too much with the tractor and that kind of thing. So I thought the best thing we could do when you don't have an overhead crane or anything or a sky hook or whatever is uh, build a rotisserie. So we're gonna we're gonna scheme up a way on the front to hook it here, and the back is a little easier because it's flat. But uh, we're gonna put chain falls on it. I've got a couple little eyelets we're gonna weld on. So we'll put the eyelets at the top, right there, and uh, put the chain falls up here. Hook it to the front of the trailer and bring it up to the, where the center of gravity is in the middle of the wheel, and then we'll affix it clamp it or tack it on the back side and then we've got sort of the the dream trailer welding setup I mean I've never seen it before uh, been a lot of shops that built trailers and, and big shit like this and it's a dream to be able to move the whole product around actually uh, where they did do that was at Trenton uh, the in Trenton, Nova Scotia, they used to build rail cars. Oh yeah? And they had a massive, I've never, I never saw it, but from what I understand, they used to flip the whole rail cars around to do the welds. So you were able to position all your welds, all flat welds. So it came out much better quality. If you're gonna have a road going thing, it's the best kind of quality, it's all flat welds. It's the easiest weld you can do. Yeah. It's not gonna give you the best practice in the world, <laughs> uh, overhead and stuff, but I mean, there'll be more than enough overhead and, that kind of welding. So he's got this trailer half welded out. His welds are beautiful. They're um, they're uh, good enough. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, now we're just knocking out the the giant wheel of death. Uh, that's why we call it that because uh, someday you may kill somebody. Hopefully, hopefully not. not. Oh, hopefully not. <laughs> It'll probably be me. <laughs> no, my luck. Um, because it's going to have pressure pulling down, uh, I realized I need something to kind of stop it from moving around. Ben, and we've got one wheel on here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put another wheel on there. You got your, uh, you got your helmet pulling there? Yeah, but the welder's not running. Oh, yeah, I mean, we might want a running welder. Might want to run Sam, out. can you fire it up? This is really awkward to hold this freaking wheel. Probably doesn't want to ground a sticker. You don't have to choke it, just pull it. Shine, buddy. Took <laughs> oh, the bad geez. ground because of the sticker. You'll get her. As usual, I run the cheapest rods money can buy. Yeah, 
so we're welding in some uh, centered iron casters. So you can tell it's already like made that right solid. We'll add a few more gussets down here. I thought I had, I needed more clearance for the trailer, but uh, it could have been a little shorter. These young fellas are great welders, doing really well. Fresh out of school. All that fancy stuff he was learning that all went right out, <laughs> right out the door. He's like, chip your weld? What are you talking about, chip your weld? Don't waste your time chipping weld. Rust, you leave that on. Grind right over that. Hey Sam, can we duct tape you to this so I can spin you around? Could be fun, but... I'll fucking land on my head. Pinch your fingers off. You'd be holding on to there, just... <laughs> bum bum, bum bum. <laughs> Speed bump it right over your fingers. That's good though. We need to grind. There's a little well where they joined it. We're gonna grind this little weld off. And, get to it. and what we're gonna do, I think we're done welding for now. Can you kill that, Sam? What we're gonna do, we're gonna. Uh, in the future, we're gonna gear up a big uh, uh, disc brake. I got a few motorcycle bits and pieces. And I'll put a handbrake. And uh, I was thinking about it before, uh, I'll gear it up in a way, because you can gear up a brake this way, uh, in reverse. So it'll hold a caliper, and then when you squeeze it, it'll squeeze release, it release. And so we can spin it, and maybe even do just a foot pedal down here, like we can run the hydraulics down here, and just, you can push it to release the, uh, the caliper. And um, then you can you can hold the pedal down, move the thing. That way, if you ever like gets out of control, you just let it go, and it'll just grab and it'll stop this thing. But for the short term, I think we'll just weld a uh, a pipe here and a pipe here or something, or even just put a chain around it, so we can position it. We'll put a chain on it, that kind of thing. If it looks like it's going to get dangerous, we'll we'll gear it up a little bit safer. Safety's first, really. Uh, Aside from these welds, <laughs> but so, even though something's ugly, it doesn't mean it's not safe. It, uh, you know, just keep adding metal on there until it's beefy. <laughs> it might be hideous, but uh, you know, it ain't gonna go anywhere. We're gonna run another big bar. If you're wondering, it seems a little springy. We're gonna run another big bar here. I'm gonna double it up. Probably just a big flat bar on its edge, and we'll probably gusset this again a little more. It's not going to go anywhere. All the uh, all the uh, weight is pretty much straight down. So it's just in case uh, if you ever didn't have it really centered and it got off to one side, it might want to like pull it over. But we've got one on each end, so I mean, it's all just gravity straight down. So it really doesn't need to be super super strong. It just can't break. If it breaks, it's bad. <laughs> so we'll just keep on beefing it up. If it seems a little springy, we're gonna add to it and just keep scabbing shit on there till it's till it's stable, stable and good enough, you know. Yeah. But it's gonna make the job so, so nice. much easier. So nice. Just pull it around, man. Like if you, if you any of you guys are fabricators out there and you've ever like worked on something like a trailer, you know how many times you have to flip it. Got to keep like lifting that, flip it, painting it. You got to flip it or get under there and try and paint a good job. Like this way, you can spray. You know, it's just it's just great. So.